that'll work. I think so. See the mount from uh, before. What do you think? Which one do you like better? Do you like the one from yesterday better? With the static view from the front? Or do you want the dynamic view? See stuff that I see when I see it. Let me know. So yesterday, I talked about conspiracy theories, what I think of them, and I think they're pretty stupid, personally. Especially the really outlandish ones, like the government is controlled by reptilians, <laughs> or uh, the greys. Or uh, the men in black coming to make you scared and stuff. It's just, that's out there stuff. That's just out there. <laughs> it really is. So there's another one that, uh, I think it was the Night Shield? I'm sorry if I forget who it was that, that, rem that mentioned this. But... This is for you, about the uh, moon landing thing. There are actually people out there in the world who believe, seriously believe, they actually seriously believe that um, the moon landings were fake. Watchers out there realize this, but we went to the moon several times. There have been 12 dudes who have walked on the moon. That means we went six times. We had a, a dune buggy thing we were driving around. One guy kind of played golf a little bit. We did geology on there, looking at stuff. There's hours and hours and hours of footage of them doing their thing. It's not just that one landing that everybody knows about from 1969. There was Apollo 12, Apollo 14, Apollo 15. It's not like we went once and that was it. And then, you know, the ones, we stopped going to the moon because we discovered aliens and the aliens told us never to go back. Uh-huh, sure. You reefer smoking goofball I don't know I'm kidding about the reefer there's still a goofball there's this uh, website called third phase of the moon or phase of moon and I was interested initially because they had some a couple of good UFO videos but then I started noticing that they, they would mix in stuff that clearly looked fake with the stuff that was kind of, you know, you know it was an authentic video and you couldn't identify what it was. It was interesting. And all of a sudden, they're clearly, clearly fake. And they're treating it like it's all equal. Oh yeah, this is just as real. Really? Really? There's a whole lot of fake-ass videos out there. So I stopped watching them because of that. And they're like, oh, you're, you're one of the sheeple. Okay, bad. And... So uh, yeah, I believe we did go to the moon. I believe that we did go to space. There are some people who actually think we never went to space, that it's all fake. So how the hell does your cell phone work? Or your your satellite television work? It's based on space. Not your cell phone, necessarily. We have instantaneous communication, pretty much, around the whole world. How do you think that's achieved? Through satellites. Duh. There are actually people out there who believe that the world is actually flat. You can look them up. Look up the videos. They actually think the world is flat. <laughs> ah. I do believe 
believe that the government can keep secrets. I mentioned that yesterday. There are some secrets that have been kept and then released later. For example, the SR-71 Blackbird project it was in existence long before anybody knew about it. Uh, the U-2 spy plane, another one. Uh, the F-117A stealth fighter bomber, that's another one. The B-2, that's another one. So they do have these programs that nobody knows about. And then, like, Navy SEAL stuff. You know, uh, assassinations and kidnappings and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that kind of thing happens. Those are pretty much small-scale things. But 9-11? Really? They, they, they were able to paint every girder in the building with this high-explosive stuff to make the buildings come down and nobody noticed. And then the, the people who survived on the stairwell, why didn't they blow up? Why didn't the, the girders kill them? It's just stupid. So if you can think of any other ridiculous conspiracies out there, you know, add them to the list, right? I got good news. I got a raise today. Uh, all the Wake Tech people got a raise. So now it's a thousand dollars plus three percent if you do your benchmarking, which I did. And uh, if you get faculty ranking, that's a new thing they have. You can also get more money. So yay! I'm definitely going to do that. I think it's high time I get into serious video editing so I can incorporate that in my teaching. I already do a little bit. If you look up Mike Cayley 7777, that's my teaching site. And I think I have a Mike Cayley Nunya, stupid Gmail. I got some teaching stuff on there too. So, that'd be nice if I could make some really good videos. I got ideas upon ideas upon ideas to teach my ESL students. ESL, by the way, if you don't know, means English as a second language. I'm very excited to be a part of my school. I really like my place of, of employ. Good people there. Very good people. And we help students. That's our job, is to help people. That's very fulfilling for me. I love helping people. There's an old Bob Dylan song. And the, the, the refrain goes... No matter who you are, pretty much, you're going to have to serve somebody. And that's as if that's a bad thing, like, yeah, 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 you have to serve somebody. And I'm thinking, no, it's an honor to serve somebody. I serve my students every day. I'm on Facebook helping them out. I'm on the Internet, uh, you know, YouTube and all that. I mean, I, mean, I'm, I love helping my students. I want them to be a success. I want them to graduate and get a good job and get a good career, have a family, overcome the trauma of stuff like the Iraq thing and the Afghanistan thing and Syria and all these people who are coming over here with PTSD now from the crazy stuff they've seen. Just as civilians, I'm helping them or trying to help them. I'll let them be the judge of it. Nothing makes me more proud than seeing my students achieve great things. Greater than I'll ever achieve, because I'm an idiot. No, oh, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. What a horrible turn that was. No package. You have no package. You get nothing. All right, folks. Sure, old pal, Mike Cayley 7. Talk to you later.